everyone, welcome back to Lame Foundation. This is Javita here, and in today's video, I have my friend Akshay here with me. Um, I've known Akshay for a few years now, and he also migrated here to do his masters. Akshay's got a background in computer science, so today's video is going to be more like a Q&A where we have a conversation and just finding out more about how Akshay went through the student life. So if you'd like to know more, then please keep watching. So Akshay is going to be introducing himself now, and he's going to talk a bit more about the degree that he pursued. So I'm going to hand it over to Akshay now. Hi, hi Jovi. Hi everyone. My name is Akshay and like Jovita said that I had a background in computer science. So yeah, I did, I did my bachelor's in computer science back in India. Then I uh, got a job in uh, Netlink, a company in um, Madhya Pradesh, Bhopal and I did my, uh, I, I, I was working as a software engineer there and then yeah, during that time I thought like I would better be suited as a analyst or a data professional role so I thought I would actually pursue my masters in here in Melbourne. I applied for Monash University and got admitted into a masters uh, of data science here in Melbourne. Um, so Akshay, I have a question for you. Um, why did you choose to move to Australia and Melbourne specifically and what made you choose Monash University? Uh, yeah, so uh, good question. So back in uh, back in India while I was working as a software engineer, uh, I, I actually stumbled upon an article which said that there would be 100,000 jobs in the year 2020 in Australia. So that's how I, I thought to myself, like, yeah, I have to study, uh, pursue my master's in Australia. And data science was uh, one of the options I was considering. So I, I started researching and I found that Monash University is one of the best universities of uh, providing this data science course. So, and luckily I got into Monash University and 2017 was the year uh, July intake when I came here to Melbourne to study. So Akshay, can you elaborate a bit more on the coursework and the units that you um, studied and also what was your experience like? Uh, yeah, so li like I said that I did my master's in data science. So we had uh, various units, uh, data related units like applied data analytics, Python programming, data visualization and data wrangling. Uh, out of all of these uh, course uh, units, I found data visualization my most favorite one. I really excelled in that particular subject. Uh, overall, uh, my experience was quite challenging because Monash had uh, exams for all of these units. And one of the most uh, difficult subjects I studied was applied data analytics which was really maths intensive and it has like probability forecasting these kind of topics which uh, really kept me on edge and so yeah this was the overall experience I had but somehow I managed to pass. Um, so actually just moving on from the coursework aspect I'm um, just wanting to know were there any extracurricular activities or any opportunities that were offered to you at Monash? Uh, there, there were plenty of clubs uh, student can be involved in. I was in Monash Caulfield campus, there's one more campus in Clayton. Uh, they have similar opportunities for the students. So I was involved in uh, Monash Postgraduate Association where uh, all the postgraduates from different parts of the world. Uh, so it's, it's a collaborative space where you meet new people, make new friends and then it uh, there were plenty of cultural uh, clubs as well, for example, an Indian uh, club. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a great experience for me personally to collaborate with other students and uh, get to know their culture. Thank you for um, sharing the extracurricular aspect of Monash. Just moving on to what kind of job opportunities are available for international students or anyone who is studying at Monash. Uh, yeah, so uh, so there's a thing called Monash Connect. It's an information hub for all international students. You just have to go there, just uh, grab a ticket and you'll find a any information you need, uh, like uh, how to find a job, how to 
how to get a job in campus. So uh, there's a uh, uh, Monash job portal where you can find uh, part-time jobs inside the campus like because there are plenty of restaurants, cafes, stores. Uh, we have a big library where you can do a part-time work as well. So uh, being a Monash student, you uh, you are uh, you have an unique email ID and like student ID and you can use that student ID to go into a Monash job portal and apply for all the uh, part-time jobs available inside the university. I just want to know what other opportunities as a student who is also studying can have outside of campus um, and how do you apply for those jobs? Uh, yeah, so uh, we have plenty of restaurants outside the university where you can do a part-time job and there are plenty of retail stores available and for, for this there are uh, websites like Gumtree, Facebook Marketplace and Seek where you can see all, all, all of these jobs listed and apply for it. Other than these portals that I've mentioned, there's always uh, retail stores near the universities where you can go hand, hand over your resume to these retail stores uh, to give that human touch which uh, if, if, if they have any availability, they'll probably give you a call and you might get the job. You might get the job. Um, so Akshay, now just moving on from the part-time roles to um, internships and full-time job opportunities, what is available to students? Like I said before, uh, there's a uh, Manash uh, job portal where you can access all of the internship opportunities as well as uh, the full-time opportunities. Uh, Monash Uni also holds a number of career related uh, events which a student can access including uh, the career expos and the, the industry panels. You can express your interest using like uh, just filling a form so that will be pretty easy for a student. Um, so Akshay now just moving from the job aspects to accommodation just wanting to know what's the experience like living here as an international student. Yeah, so uh, at the, f the first day I came to Melbourne, I didn't know anything. So the first thing I did, I went to the information hub, Monash Connect. And there I was hooked up with one of the, uh, the students there. And she was an international student. She came two years before me. And they had given me multiple websites to go on and apply for student uh, accommodation outside my campus. Yeah, so from uh, wh when I went to Monash Connect, I was given a website called Fox First Real Estate, which helped me find an accommodation near the uh, Monash Clayton campus. Mm -hmm. So that was fun. And uh, yeah, we uh, I used to live with three other people from different nationalities, from Vietnam, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka. Other than this, you can also find uh, uh, accommodation using flatmates.com or realestate.com or domain.com. So Akshay, like you mentioned that you were living in a shared accommodation. I just wanted to ask you, do you have any tips on like managing your finances as a student um, and any budgeting ideas for the, the students that are going to come to Melbourne? Yeah, this, so the first thing I would like to start with the rent. So the first, uh, first time I came to Melbourne was back in 2017 and I used to pay around $500 for a shared uh, apartment. Uh, it was near the uh, Clayton campus as I mentioned. And I, I would say it, it was quite okay for that period of time. But now uh, the scenario has changed quite a bit. And nowadays you can actually get a house, a shared house in an, or an apartment for about 1000 to 1200 bucks depending on the location of course. If you're living near the uni, it, it could be a little expensive for you as there are plenty of international students coming in. And uh, so the further you go uh, from the city, you can find a bigger house and a much a cheaper place to live but it might not be very really convenient where you work or you study. So that was the cost of the rental. Now moving on to the groceries. I spend about 80 to 100 dollars a week on groceries. Talking about the commute, uh, I use public transport. Mm -hmm. 
which cost me about 50 to 60 dollars a week there's uh, so uh, I'm from Monash like I told you and there are Monash concession cards concession travel cards for undergrad students so that would be really a, a cheap option for students coming in. So now talking about some of the miscellaneous expenses like going to the gym, watching movies or going to the club. Uh, these uh, expenses can add up to a student. A student can save a lot of money uh, by using their ID card, student ID card, which can help you get discounts all over uh, Melbourne mm -hmm. and even concessions on like gym memberships and stuff yes yeah, yeah. so overall these are the the major expenses which a student can come across while living in Melbourne so actually like you just spoke about internships and full-time opportunities were there any um, other ways that you could network with professionals in your field uh, there's a really good app called meetup.com where uh, it's a networking app. You can register yourself and there are plenty of events like, for example, I was involved in data engineering event where I could meet all the, the professionals from different companies and talk to them about the latest projects. Now to just sum up um, your experience, I just wanted to ask you what has your journey been like from 2017 to now and how have you grown personally and professionally? Uh, yeah, so I would actually rate my experience 10 on 10 because my journey has been like really amazing coming from India as a student You are just lonely and you don't know what what to do or uh, You don't have any friends yet But yeah, that's that's how it is and you just make friends uh, Along the journey. I didn't know how to cook when I was in India and here I have to cook like three meals a day so that that's that actually helped me uh, be independent and and professionally it was a bit of a challenge for me. I've worked a lot of uh, jobs and worked at a few different companies, but now I'm I'm working as an infrastructure and cyber security uh, capability and it's it's really uh, challenging and at the same time it's uh, rewarding as well. So I'm I'm really happy where I am now. But uh, overall, this has been a great decision for me uh, personally and professionally. So. Before we end the video, just want to go through a quick fun segment and ask you a few rapid fire questions. Um, so the first one is, what's one cafe or restaurant every newcomer should try here in Melbourne? Oh wow, that's a, that's, that's a great question. I actually love all of the, the coffee culture is great in Melbourne, but I really love Brick Lane Melbourne. I, I, that, that's my go-to place every, every, every month. Nice. That's a really good place. If you haven't visited it, please visit it. It has a beautiful laneway with lots of greenery and um, a really um, beautiful space to click pictures as well. And the food is amazing too. Um, so the next question I have here, Akshay, is um, can you describe a typical weekend in your life here? Yeah, so uh, some of the weekends I we, we really like to go out, like explore the the regional Victoria, mm -hmm. and some some weekends are really mundane. We just have to do our household chores and mm -hmm. prepare for the next week. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, our typical weekend. Looks that's like. true. That sounds very very relatable, Akshay. Um, the next one I want to ask you is, what's been the most surprising aspect of living here in Melbourne? Uh, I wouldn't say surprising, but uh, I really like the the culture, the uh, the vibe mm -hmm. in general. Uh, it's it's really multicultural. Uh, you you get all uh, people from all nationalities. In in general, the culture I uh, really uh, it's exciting and it's it's fun. Yeah, that's true. I like the culture here as well. Um, the next one actually I have here is what's one thing you miss about home and how do you cope with that feeling? Uh, I really miss uh, living with my parents. Mm -hmm. Of course, we had no responsibilities back then. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, there's there's no co coping mechanism as such. But just like talking to them daily on a daily basis would really help and mm -hmm. stay connected with your old friends from mm -hmm. India. So that that really helps. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's true. Um, and the next one is, what's your favorite cuisine that you've tried here in Melbourne? 
I've almost tried all of the cuisines. Mm -hmm. I I really like Thai food. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I would I would say that's that's probably my favorite cuisine. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Other than Indian, of course. <laughs> nice. Um, and I'd like to end by asking you for one advice you'd like to give anyone that's watching this video. Just uh, one advice I would like to give is if anyone who is coming or is thinking of coming to Australia for studies, don't think twice because everything will be worth it. Thank you Akshay, that was a really good answer. Um, so that was it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something new and got a lot of information from Akshay's journey. And thank you Akshay for being part of this thank video. You. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thanks. Thank you. Um, so if you guys liked this video and found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe for more. And don't forget to click the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Um, and also feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below letting me know what kind of videos you'd like to watch next or if you'd like any more like interview type um, videos we'd love to make that for you as well but that was it i hope to see you in my next one until then peace and love bye <laughs> uh, my name is akshay nair i <laughs> so hi everyone my Name is Akshay. <laughs> Hi everyone. Like Jovita said. Indian clubs where uh, they they celebrate Diwali and they have sweets, Indian sweets as well. So. <laughs> Uh, like like I told you before, there there's a Monash job portal where you can find. Sorry, you are doing ufa fufu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will start again. No, so over the next six. Okay.